Deer Love Cover. I can't stress that enough. Your property has to have a lot of cover for deer. If you want them to be in there in the daylight and bed down and take up residence on your property. Otherwise, they could just use your property to get to another property during the night. So you want them to be able to take up residence during the daytime, so look for a lot of cover. So cover could be shrubs, thick shrubs. It could be a swampy area like this combined with cover. Deer use cover for protection from predators. They also use cover for raising their young, and they also use cover for bedding down. So cover is very important. But you'll want to stay tuned because I'm going to show you where to place yourself the very first day of honey season so you'll have the best chance of success. I'm Riveru Bay and welcome to my gun kingdom. Food source on the property is going to be real important um, if you want the deer to stay there during the day. Um, if I had my choice between a property that had water and a property that had food, I would definitely take the property with food as long as your neighboring properties have water next to you. Water sources in, within a close proximity to them, they can always go there and get a drink of water. Now behind me here I have a a water source here and now this is out in the open so this would probably be before daylight that they would come out here and place themselves out in the open so we're going to walk down here a piece and i'm going to show you a place where they have cover for water here i find a, a main trail that deer have been using to get down to some water now it looks kind of steep if you go about 10 feet from here but don't worry about that because deer are very agile animals and they can get down in there with ease so you don't have to worry about that but this is a main trail it's, it's used quite a bit and over there behind us is some more trails that they're using to come in here if you're looking for a deer hunting property where deer actually live there they actually take up residence and they live there and they don't go you know, wandering off to somebody else's property during the daytime, you want a lot of heavy brush, okay? You want tall grasses, you want shrubs, you want, you want thick cover. But if you want them to stay there during the day, you want to have the food source on the property for them. So in the spring and summertime, deer feed on foliage, okay? Bushes, shrubs, vines, low-hanging trees. In the fall time, they feed on the nuts and the acorns. Now here we find at the base of this tree uh, some acorns. Uh, and I'm, I'm finding a lot of tops from acorns. So um, these are what the deer are going to feed on come uh, October. Um, but during the spring, summer months, they'll be feeding on uh, vegetation and uh, so you know don't don't ever discount any acorns uh, like i said they're they're highly adaptable animals and they can learn to like um, any acorn because these acorns provide a lot of fat um, before winter for the deer so but don't ever think that they won't eat a certain acorn um, so that way you don't have to worry about identifying trees and things like that. Just keep it as simple as possible. What you could do is you want to find some main trails around these um, the basin and trees and uh, probably put yourself in a good spot to where you can have a good view of this area right here because right here I have three or four big main trails here that are coming into this tree. So I know they're coming here in the fall uh, to eat these acorns. So you want a diversity of trees and you want a diversity of foliage, okay? You want tall grasses, bushes, shrubs, low-hanging trees, vines. It won't be until October till when they start feeding on the, on the acorns and the nuts. And, and what they want to do is they want to build up their fat requirements before winter with those types of food. 
I want to thank you for watching and also I want to thank my subscribers and all my future subscribers too. And if you like this video and I helped you out, click the like button down below and also hit the subscribe button because there's always more future content coming up. But anyway, I thank you for watching.